Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in. Watch the breath all the way out. Let it be comfortable. Don't force it too much. Don't put too much pressure on it. Think of the breath coming in and out freely. The breath energy spreading through the whole body, all the way in from the top of the head down to the tips of the toes, throughout all the different parts of the body, ventilating everything and cleaning everything up. And then just keep on doing that. This is the important part of goodness, is once you have a good intention, then you want to maintain it. If you just think about the breath for a second and then think about other things, it doesn't have any special power. But if you stay with the breath, make up your mind you're going to stay here and then maintain that intention, then the mind will get a place to settle down and have a sense of ease, a sense of well-being that comes from not having to jump around all the time. This is an important principle in all the good that we do, being generous, being virtuous, training the mind. Because once you've got a good intention, you want to maintain it. You don't want it to fall over. You don't want it to disappear. Otherwise, it's like planting a tree. You plant the tree and it's a nice little seedling, but then you don't water it and you don't look after it, and after a while the tree dies. Then you come back and you plant another tree, but you don't look after that one and that dies. You do this for 50 years and what you've got is a line of little dead trees with no shade, with no fruit, nothing to really show for your efforts. If you take one good tree, though, and you plant it and you really look after it, watering it, fertilizing it, making sure that no diseases affect it, then at the end of 50 years you've got something that gives you shade, something that gives you fruit, a place you can rest. It's the same with all the goodness in the mind. We have good intentions, but if we don't carry them out, then it's like planting a tree and then forgetting it. It's the same with the good intentions that other people who have gone before us. We don't live in a world where we're just beginning things. We come into a world where people in the past have also had good intentions. You know, the people in our family, teachers, older friends have done something good, and you say, well, okay, now they're not here anymore, you want to carry on their good intention. That's why, again, it's like taking care of a tree that someone else has planted. You get the shade, too. It's not that the tree belongs to them. The goodness that's been done in the world belongs to everybody who maintains it and looks after it. And so when people have passed away, we, what we remember about them is the goodness they've done for us. And so we want to maintain that goodness to make sure that that goodness doesn't disappear from the world. Because if you don't look after it, it's very easy for these things to, to slip away. So once you see a good intention, whether it starts with you or starts with somebody else, you want to maintain it, keep it going. Because otherwise human life gets worse, worse and worse all the time. If people let things slip, let things slide like that. So if you see something good, try to maintain it, keep it going. And that way, in the same way when you meditate, you've got a good intention to stay with the breath, to do something totally harmless and that gives rise to a happiness that's both lasting and pure. Okay, that's a good intention. You're showing respect for yourself, respect for your desire for true happiness, respect for other people's desire for happiness. You get the happiness you want much better than a lot of other kinds of happiness in the world. And at the same time, you don't harm anybody. So the goodness of training the mind is something that spreads around. I mean, now, other people will pick up that goodness from you and take it on further. That's up to them. But make sure that at least it doesn't stop with you. Whatever goodness you've been taught, try to maintain it. Whatever goodness you've picked up from other people, try to maintain it. Whatever goodness you think up on your own, try to maintain it. Keep it going. And that can be your gift not only to yourself, but to the world around you.